What's going on everybody, this is Oasis back with another tutorial of AutoCAD series. So in this video I'll be making a 3D model of a pool table because one of my subscribers requested for this tutorial. Alright, so now as you can see I've got my plane from the top view, I've got this elevation from the top and right I've got elevation as well. So I'm in a 3D modeling um, workspaces now and let's get started. So for the first thing what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy my top plane. I'm just going to drop it about here and then I'm going to get rid of my dimension. Alright, so now I'm going to use my boundary command BO and I'm going to boundary both of these objects and then I'm going to copy both of them and just leave them at the back of copy there and I'm just going to work on this model and I'm going to get rid of this. Alright, so now I'm going to change my viewport to SW isometric and then I'm going to, well there's a problem here, uh, I'm going to fill it that radius 2 inch, yep, done. Alright, so now I'm going to copy that part and I'm just going to extrude that to about 1 inch. And I'm going to extrude one inch the middle part as well. So one inch. Alright. And now I'm going to change my viewport to 3D wireframe. And I'm going to copy this. And I'm just going to select from the midpoint. And I'm just going to drop that to the midpoint. Alright, so now use your Boolean operation subtract so I'm going to use my shortcut command SU for that and I'm going to select the outer part first and then the middle part first all right let's change this to shaded what do we get all right we got this now and now let's go back to over top view first I'm going to change that to 3d all right and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically work on my plan now all right so I'm going to draw a line here about there and I'm going to mirror that by using MI mirror command and I'm just gonna mirror that to the right and then I'm going to mirror both of these from this midpoint All right. and now I'm going to use BO boundary command and I'm going to pick a point about here and then what I go what I'm going to do I'm going to copy this Oh, it's not copying, so I've just got to select from this part and from the midpoint, you just put it there. Alright, so now I've got this there. Go back to your SW isometric view again, and this is going to be our bed basically. So I'm going to extrude that to about one inch as well, and I'm going to fill it those spaces. So I'm going to fill it that radius 1 and I'm going to use this done and same on every corner Alright, so just copy that from this midpoint and just drop it to the midpoint there. Let's have a look. Change your viewport to shady. Alright, so now we've got this nice edge here and I've got my um, pocket set up as well. I'm going to fill it then later, but for now, just leave them there. Alright, so now the next thing what we're going to do, I'm going to change that to my 3D workspaces and I'm going to my layer properties. In your layer properties, so what do we need? So I'm going to make a layer.
Now I'm going to select that middle path and I'm going to change that to red and the outer boundary would be a boundary color. Alright, so this is done now. Alright, let's have a look at this to the shaded part. So we've got this for now. And now I'm going to make a boundary of the table. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to 3D wireframe and I'm going to change this to top view and then let's go back here. First let's go to your layer properties and change the color. I accidentally changed that to green, that's why. Alright, so now all we can do is I'm going to make another line, make a line from this point. Perpendicular. And same line will go from this to this perpendicular. And I'm going to mirror them. Alright, so now we got this for now and what I'm going to do, I'm going to use my boundary command BL, pick these points Alright, so now we got these copies right, so I'm going to go to my SWI symmetric view So I'm going to extrude all of these to about 3 inch and now I'm going to copy them by P for previous alright so just copy all of your alright so just select that midpoint and just go and drop that there to the midpoint alright so now we got that now go to your layer properties and we've got the boundary here and I'm gonna make another layer called corner and I'll give this color of grey and then what I'm going to do with select so like this Alright guys, so we have achieved this so far, I've got my top table done, there's only one thing left that I'm going to make a rubber in front of these boundaries, so to make a rubber what you do is go back to your plan and here as you can see that I've got this, this um, rubber um, elevation done on my plan, so I'm going to use my boundary command, BO and pick all these points. Alright, so now we got one boundary here, so I'm going to use my extrude command. Both of them I'm going to extrude about 3 inch, and I'm going to extrude that one as well, about 3 inch. And I'll go to your SW isometric view, and then from here I'm just going to use my um, gizmo to rotate that, and I'm going to change that to 3D wireframe. And now what you do is, um, if you are not familiar with the UCS command, check my tutorial on UCS. So I'm going to type UCS and I'm going to pick this point. I'm going to turn off my snapping first. Uh, I'm just going to pick this point and the Y axis would be that and then X axis would be this. Alright, so now we got that. So now I'm going to use my slicing command basically. So to slice that. What I'm going to do, I'm going to select the command in a solid editing called slice. Select that command, select your object, and I'm going to use this quick point and I'm going to hold down my shift key right click and click on nearest. I'm just going to about here. And then the next one would be the same perpendicular there. So you've got your slicing done. 
so this is what we have right now so we got our rubber done so I'm just gonna go and change the layer for that so I'll go to my layer properties make a new layer called rubber and I'm going to give green color for that select the object and we get color all right so now we got the rubber done now and now I'm just gonna mirror that on the other side so MI for mirror and select that midpoint and there you go you got that mirror there all right so you got that there as well and now let's make this side all right guys we have our rubber done for left and right side to make the rubber on the top and bottom what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a simple method. I'm not going to use slicing because that takes time and that could be a difference, you know, in between these two slicing. So it's a pretty good command called intersect. So use that. All right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a copy of it and I'm just going to drop it here. And then I'm going to use my rotation command from the midpoint and I'm just going to rotate that to this side. Right, and then what we do is I'm just going to change my knots out and then I'm going to remove that from the midpoint and I'm just going to drop that to the midpoint all right so now what we have here we have something like that so I can use the intercept command so what I'm going to do I'm going to use solid editing click on intersect select this object Select the inner object, press spacebar, done. There you go, you got your um, top rubber done as well, which is pretty easy, all right? So, now I'm going to mirror that, MI, for the mirroring command, and I'm just gonna drop that to 90 degrees. All right, done. So, what I'm going to do is to copy this, and I'm going to Maybe select this point and take that to there. All right. So let's see what we have here. That is pretty cool, guys. We got our rubber down now. All right, guys. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a pillar and the bottom part of our table. So to get that diameter, what you do, you make another line on the midpoint. Well, I can copy that pillar to the right side, so I'm just gonna make that. And then just grab that vertex, drop it to the middle. Done. And then change your viewport to SW isometric. And choose your revolve command, select this object for the angle, start from here to there, and then press enter for 360 rotations. So done, our pillar is done now. And now I'm going to use my 3D rotate command. Select an object, give this point, select this angle, and give a value of 90. All right. And now I'm just going to get rid of this um, rubber first, so I can put my pillars there. All right. And now just copy this from maybe quadrant. So hold down your shift key, right click, select that quadrant and select it from here and just drop that in the middle there We got our pillars done, and now I'm going to make a new layer pillars and give a color about let's say this brown color is fine. And I'm going to select all my pillars and just make them on this layer. 
All right, so what we do now is I'm going to make a copy of this object. I'm just going to drop it here. So I'm up all up. All right, I'm going to fill it up. The radius two inch, as I remember, it was two inch. All right, so now I'm going to make another copy of this. So I want to keep that as a backup. Just leave that there, and I'm going to extrude. I'm going to move this object from about this endpoint, maybe this node. Just drop that there. All right, I'm going to offset that about three inch inside, and I'm going to extrude that object about one point. Maybe 12 inch is fine, yeah. And I'm going to move that <coughs> to from this point. All right, so now the next thing what you do is you need to use your shell command. Go to your solid modeling and click on the shell and give a value of about two inch. So two inch. And then, yeah, we got that. And then you can copy that object one more time here. Or make, maybe make offset of three inch inside and extrude that object to about two inch and just move that to from the midpoint and just drop that to the midpoint of this object here. And use your subtract command, use this object first and then select the that. go back to your home and we have a look what we got here so, all right so we got this pretty much looks all right now for the table and yep and I'm going to make a new layer and I'm gonna call it base and I'll give a color of white white's fine I'll select this object and make color base done. All right, so we got our base and pillars done. So now I'm going to make one more thing. I'm going to make a hole for these um, pillars so we could get the ball down to the base. All right, so now I'm going to turn off a few of my layers. I'm going to turn off my base layer and I'm going to make my current layer as a zero. And I'm going to turn off my pillar layer. All right, so now we got that. All right, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to basically make a boundary of this circle. So like this point, and then offset that 0.6 inch. Yep, that's fine. And I'm going to extrude that about four inch. And then I'm going to mirror this object to the right and both of these to the other side of the table. Done. And then I'm going to use my move command on your layers. Alright, so let's have a look what we have here. Maybe we're gonna move them a little bit further. So I'm going to move command people previous. And give it a zero comma zero comma about let's say five inch. Yep, that's fine. These objects and maybe select them from this point and just drop them about here. All right, so <clears throat> we got that there. And then what you do next is use your subtract command. So now I'm going to use my subtract command to get rid of those circles on the table. So, I'm going to turn off this bed layer first, and then I'm going to use my subtract command, select all the pillars, and then select the, those objects. Alright, we got that there, so we got this a bit of hole there for the ball as well, I will fix that later, but we got that there. And then I'm going to copy all of these objects and I will select them from one of the nodes here and then I will just drop them to the, this one. Done. 
and then I'm going to turn off my primer layer and then turn on my base layer and I'm going to use the same subtract command again and then select these objects but right, we got red go fan as well from there now turn back on all your layers and there you go so you've got your coating done and you've got your pillars done there's one more thing you can do is basically you can make a copy of your base and just leave them here for <coughs> pillars and then select the space and you got rid of that <coughs> base as well Alright, so now we got this so far. Alright guys, we got our table done. I'm going to do one more thing here. 
I'm going to turn off my I'm going to undo and I'm going to isolate this layer and now what I'm going to do I'm going to make a UCS command and I'm going to drop my UCS about here and X value that and Y value is fine done and now I'm going to change that to my wireframe and then just roughly I'm going to eyeball that rectangle about there yeah that's fine and I'm going to extrude that to minus 6 inch and then I'm going to use my subtract command and now we got rid of that so now unisolate all the layers and have a look what we have here all right so we got the hole so when the ball comes out then we can pick up the ball so the last thing what I'm going to do I'm going to make this table a little bit fancier so there's one problem we have here I'm going to fix that what I'm going to do I'm going to Right, I'm going to isolate this layer and this layer is basically giving us a bit of color problem there so what I'm going to do I'm going to turn on my bed layer as well and I'm going to union this layer so I'm going to type union and I'm going to union this layer all right so now we got that but what I'm going to do I want to make that face color green so I could apply the let color letter. So I'm going to explode this object and I want to change this top face to bed. Alright, so that's it. We got that and then I'm going to change these objects as well, the corners as well. Alright, so now we got that, I'm going to turn off all my layers and this is pretty alright now. So we got pretty much everything is done, what we're supposed to get it done. But one last thing what I'm going to do, I'm going to make it a bit more fancier. So make that to 3D wireframe, I'm going to save my file first so I don't lose it. So let's go back to my normal. I'm going to turn on my zero layer as well. And I'm going back to my top view. Alright, so this is the boundary we have, right? So I'm going to break that from maybe this point to this bit point. Alright, and now what I'm going to do, I'm going to use my polyline command and I'm going to make a line about, let's say, 3 inch. And I go further about maybe 1.5 inch. And then you go down, maybe make an arc here. So to make an arc here, what you do is just drop that there and just drop that about here and let's do this design and then I'm going to make this layer and done alright so what do we have here we have this here and then I'm going back to my SW isometric view and I'm going to 3D rotate this object I'm going to select on this point, select this angle and then give a value of 90 and then use the rotate command again and just rotate that to about let's say that angle is fine and then move this object from the corner and drop it about here alright done so now I'm going to make a new layer maybe call it Outer design, whatever the layer name is, doesn't really matter. I'm going to give a color this brown, maybe this one, that's fine. And I'm going to select that layer. Alright, so now I'm going to basically grab that vertex and drop it here. Alright, and then I'm going to use my extrude command, select the object, and select that path option. And select this part. Alright, so this is very cool, right?
all right guys this is our final model of our pool table if you like this video give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and just to mention that um, i'm going to make a separate video on rendering this table so be sure to check that out and i'm going to make a little bit of animation as well in the next video so make sure you check that out all right guys thanks for watching and i'll talk to you guys in the next video cheers